Most people are wasting time on data analyst certificates, believing it's going to be their golden ticket to a new six-figure data career. But that's simply not true. These platforms weren't built to get you hired. They were built to sell you hope and keep you stuck in the endless tutorial loop. I know because I bought into the hype too. I stacked cert after cert after cert, thinking it would actually finally unlock me interviews. But all I got was crickets and rejections. Meanwhile, I've watched people with no certs, no tech degrees, sometimes no college at all, land remote data analyst jobs. Not because they had better resumes or better connections, not even because they had better experience. It was because they followed a smarter strategy. That's when it hit me. I was doing everything wrong. Unfortunately, a lot of advice online isn't specific enough for career changers like me. And once I made one key shift, everything changed. Within weeks, I went from ignored to in demand. So before you waste another dollar or another month chasing certificates, watch this video until the end. I'm going to break down the truth about these courses, what hiring managers actually look for, and how everyday career changers are skipping the line and getting data analyst roles over those with master's degrees, boot camps, traditional experience, and a bunch of certificates that don't matter. If this is your first time here, my name is Kadisha. I used to deliver pizzas, and now I deliver insights as a self-taught data scientist. And I've coached thousands of other career changers to break into data without going back to school. And I'm here to teach you how to do the same. And if you're tired of feeling stuck, tired of not feeling confident in your skills, and want to pivot into a six-figure data career faster, Click the first link into the description so we can start working together ASAP and get you to your goals. Now let's get into it. The truth about certificates. You ever notice how certificate programs are everywhere? Every time you scroll through YouTube or online, there's another ad. Become a data analyst in three months with a Google certificate. Master data analytics for $29.99 on Udemy. They make it sound like you're one course away from that six-figure job. But here's the truth that no one wants to talk about out loud. These certificates were never built to get you hired. They were built to scale the companies. They were built to sell. They were built to keep you in that endless tutorial loop. While you feel productive, you're not really building confidence. Now, let me ask you something. If people with master's degrees in data science and business analytics are struggling to land interviews and roles, what makes you think a $39 certificate from Coursera is going to change your life? I had one student stack Coursera search after Coursera search, even to finish the Google Data Analyst program. They came to me after sending over 500 applications and getting ghosted every time. Not even one interview. We threw out that cert first strategy rebuilt everything around proof of value. Three weeks later, she got her first offer. No new certificate, just a new approach. Because recruiters and hiring managers don't care about certificates. They care about one thing and one thing only. Can you solve business problems with data? If you're spending more time collecting badges than building solutions, you're not preparing for a job. You're playing student. And the certificate hustle is keeping you broke. The people getting hired now for data analyst roles, they're doing one thing these platforms never teach. And I'm going to show you what that is. But first, let's look at how this certificate trap is designed to keep you stuck. So how do we end up wasting months and sometimes years on certificates and courses and still not get hired? We spend hours watching videos, doing these quizzes, maybe even building a capstone project that no one's ever going to see. Then we finish. We're hyped. We update our LinkedIn. We start applying and then nothing happens. No interviews, no callbacks, just crickets. So what do you do next? You assume that you need to learn more. So you start another course, then another then another, and then suddenly you got five certificates and zero confidence. You think knowledge is enough, but confidence doesn't come from content. Confidence comes from validation, from feedback, from knowing your skills hold up in the real world. And you don't get that in just recorded videos. You get that by building real projects, getting them torn apart and critiqued from people ahead of you and your peers and learning how to improve. If you're not getting that, 
you may stay stuck in tutorial loop forever, always consuming and never applying. While you're busy trying to feel ready, companies are hiring people who skip the certificate loop and build real visible proof that they could solve business problems. That's the difference between playing student and showing up like a professional. Certificates only tell me what you've watched, a portfolio project tells me what you understand. An optimized LinkedIn portfolio tells me if you can clearly communicate your value to the world. So how do you actually become job ready without wasting more time on these certificates? It comes down to three things. Three things that I've used personally and that I teach to every single one of my students. One, build skills that actually matter. Basic analysis, SQL for digging into databases, a dashboard tool like Tableau or Power BI, and PowerPoint slides to convey your recommendations like a consultant. Most people skip this part. They jump from tool to tool without learning how to even ask better questions, define objectives, or how to even choose the right KPIs. Or they start with a more advanced tool like Python without even understanding how SQL or Excel fits into the data analytics lifecycle. You don't need to master every tool, you just need to master business thinking and apply it through the tools. Step two, create a portfolio that shows proof of work. This is where you stop playing student and start acting like a professional or a consultant. A good portfolio doesn't show a pretty dashboard. It walks me through your thinking. It says, I understand the business problem and here's how I approach the data and here's how my analysis drives action. You want at least two to three high impact projects that simulate real world scenarios in industries that you're targeting. That's how you position yourself above someone who just took a class and called it a day. Build a personal brand that gets you found. This is where most people completely fall off. You can't just simply apply online and hope. You need to be discoverable. And that starts with LinkedIn. Your headline should say data analyst, not aspiring. Your post should show off your projects and your summary should tell a compelling story about your pivot and the problems you're now equipped to solve. I've seen students get interview requests straight from a LinkedIn post. Why? Because their profile screamed, I'm already doing the job. So you need skills, proof, and positioning. That's what actually moves the needle. And if you focus on those three things, you will stand out, even in a crowded job market. Now you may be thinking, okay, Kadisha, this sounds great, but I don't have the time to pull all this off. I got a job, I got family, I got responsibilities. I hear this all the time, but let me be clear, you don't need 12 months. Six is probably as much as you need. Most of my students are working full-time when they start and many of them are landing interviews in as little as 60 days. Why? Because we don't waste time on fluff. No unnecessary tools, just focused on skill building, targeted projects, and a killer brand that gets people to pay attention. This is not about how fast you learn, it's about how focused you are. If you just stay consistent with about five to 10 hours a week, you can make serious moves in as little as 90 days. The key is to stop doing 10 things halfway and start doing the right things all the way through. The longer you wait, the longer you stay stuck. But once you start moving in the right direction with the right plan, momentum builds fast. If you're not getting interviews and starting to doubt yourself, listen closely. You are not the problem. The strategy that you were sold is the problem. You were taught to collect certificates, to collect information like they were Pokemon cards, to just keep learning until you felt ready. But readiness doesn't come from watching more videos. It comes from doing the work getting feedback that sharpens your skills and builds your confidence. So if you're stuck, here's what to do. Pick one core skill to focus on this week. Just one, SQL, Excel, Tableau, Power BI. It doesn't matter. Just pick one and go deep. Don't jump between 10 tools. Focus on one and execute. Step two, pick a real project, not a course assigned one, not some copy and paste one on YouTube. Build something that mimics a real business problem in your target industry. Even if it's simple, make it meaningful and make sure you document your thinking like you're presenting to a stakeholder. Step three, share your process, post it on LinkedIn, talk through your problem solving, tag me, I wanna see it. And more importantly, recruiters and hiring managers wanna see it too. Again, you don't need another cert, you need a new approach, you need a new strategy. I've helped 
warehouse workers become analysts. I've helped teachers become consultants. College grads land roles with zero experience. This is possible for you. If you want help, real mentorship, get feedback, real strategy, click the first link in the description and let's start working together to get you hired. You don't have to do this alone, but you do need to stop doing what doesn't work. Again, my name is Kadisha and I'll see you in the next one.